What is up everyone and welcome to another VR tutorial in Unity. So in the previous episode we learned about how to make a physics VR rig like in Boneworks to order us to move and interact realistically with our world. And now I have the pleasure to continue here with this new episode with a subject that you guys wanted to see cover in this series which is how to jump in VR. So you already know what to do at this point like subscribe, join us on Patreon to have access to the source code of all of my projects and exclusive tutorial like the next episode which will be available only there and which will use what we learn with a VR avatar body to complete our setup. But without further ado, let's get started with our tutorial. Okay, welcome back to where we were at the end of last episode. Now let's start by doing a simple jump setup by the press of a button like we would do for any game, not just in VR. For this, I'm going to select our physics rig, then double click here on the continuous movement physics script name. Okay, so in this script to jump when we press on a button, let's first add a new public parameter of type input action property called jump input source. Then in the update function, let's get this value with bool jump input equals jump input source dot action dot was press this frame. So if we pressed on the input this frame, we want to get the rigid body of the player, which is RB, as you can see over there at the top, and change its velocity. So for this, let's go at the top and add a new public float called jump velocity that we can already set to something like seven. Obviously, the bigger the value, the higher we will be able to jump. Now, what's left for us to do is to write RB dot velocity equals vector three dot up multiply by jump velocity. Now, right now, there is a little issue with the setup, which is that the player could potentially press on the jump button multiple times to fly in the air. So to prevent this, we need to know if the player is grounded or not. So a good thing for us is that we checked that previously in the script, as you can see here with the check if grounded function. So this is pretty handy. And to use this in my case, I'm simply going to remove the bool in front of the is grounded parameter here and make it a global parameter at the top with private bool is grounded. There you go. This way, we can now access this parameter everywhere on our script. So in the jump function, let's do if jump input like before and is grounded. There you go. And that is basically it. We can already save and go back to Unity. Now what's left is to set up the jump action. We can already click use reference. Now let's search for XRI default input actions in the project. This is the action that we are using in our game. And if we go to XRI right hand locomotion, as you can see, there is no good action that we can use to jump. So let's make it ourselves. I'm going to right click Add action, rename it jump. The action type is set to button, so let's keep it this way. And for the binding, you can set anything that you want, but in my case, I will use the A button on the right controller. So let's go to XR controller, XR controller right, optional controls, primary button. Perfect. Now let's click and save, close these windows, go back to our character component and search for jump. And here, it takes everything is now set up. Congratulations. And there you go. Now what's left is to click on play to try what we made. And there you go. Now, as you can see, I can still move with the joystick. But when I press on the jump button, it works. I can jump. And more importantly, I can only jump when I'm grounded. So this is perfect. But right now, when I jump, it kind of stops where I am and do the jumping. But what would be better if we were able to control where I move when I jump? So if we leave play mode and go back to our script. So this is what is stopping us when we jump, which can be useful in a lot of cases. So let's allow the player to choose if he wants to only move when he is grounded. By making a public bool called only move when grounded, set it to false initially. And so in the fixed update, we can compute the movement if not only move when is grounded or only move when grounded and is grounded. There you go, as simple as this. And if we go back to Unity, now I can move and control the player during the jump. That's awesome. But another improvement that we can do from here is in the jump velocity parameter. You see, we are using right here the jump velocity, but I think it would be better to give as a parameter the height of the jump instead of the velocity we want. But thanks to some basic math, we can do that quite easily. So this is the equation of the movement of a falling object, g being the gravity, 
v0, the velocity of the jump, and this is the equation of the velocity. So if we reach the top, this means that the velocity is equal to zero, which gives us zero equals v0 minus g, multiplied by the time it takes to reach the top, which gives us that the time it takes to reach the top is equal to v0 divided by g. And if we use this exact value in the position equation, we get that the max height is half of v0 square divided by g. And so if we arrange this equation, we have that the jump velocity that we need for a certain height is equal to square root of 2 multiplied by g multiplied by the jump height we want. And here you go. Who would have thought that not sleeping in your math class could be so useful? So if we use this in our little script, let's have a public float called jump height that we can set to 1.5. So let's set now the jump velocity to private because we don't want it to show in the inspector right now, and apply the math that we just learned with jump velocity equals mathf dot square 2 multiplied by minus physics dot gravity dot y multiplied by jump height. And that is all. The rest is the same. Now let's save and go back to Unity once again. And there it is, guys. As you can see, I can now use the jump height parameter to say how high I want the jump. And this is easier to understand than the velocity settings. And just like this, in a matter of a few minutes, we managed to make a simple jump system in VR. So congratulations to you watching this video. Now, from here, we can, of course, improve this system by taking into account multiple factors, such as motion sickness. So it might be interesting to add some vignette when jumping. And good news is that I have a video on that exact subject. So go watch it if you haven't already. Another great thing that I want to show you guys as a little bonus is to make the jump more immersive. So some of you might have already watched my jet VR video on my main YouTube channel Valem and what I did there was actually not jump using a press of a button but instead make the player press a button then do a quick upward movement with my hands to gain some velocity and make the player jump and so if you guys are curious to know how to do this here in this situation let me just show you this as a fun little bonus so in this case what I did was actually add a boolean at the top called jump with hand and in the update function if the this is set to false, we do nothing more than to jump like we did earlier. But otherwise, if it's true, I check if the jump button is pressed. Notice here the difference between was pressed this frame and is pressed. Then I get the mean local velocity of both my hands like this. And if the jump is pressed, that we are grounded and that the velocity is greater than a certain threshold, I make the player jump using this value. It is as simple as this and you can have a look at the result right here. I think it is pretty cool and I hope that this will give you plenty of ID for your own VR game to go from here. And here we go. That is basically it. Thank you for watching this video till the end and I hope that you are enjoying this tutorial series as much as I did making it. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below and don't forget that the next episode will not be here on youtube but exclusively on patreon where we will use this technique with a full vr body avatar so thank you for watching and see you soon bye bye